Oh, hey there, I didn't see you. Welcome back to another episode here on Hall Family Farms. Today's episode is about revitalizing our Ozark ever-bearing strawberries. They've done well for us. They've produced a lot of berries, some of which, uh, unfortunately, I let dry and have gone to seed. So I'm kind of collecting those to see if we can propagate those from seed. I'm sure we can. We've done it with other seeds. We've purchased uh, strawberries from the grocery store, so I have full confidence we'll be able to do that. But let me bring you in closer so you can see what we're doing here. Be right back. Uh, if you need to take that bathroom break, refill your cup of coffee or get a bottle of water, go ahead and do that now. All right, so here you can see what I'm working with here. Uh, just don't want my seeds to blow away here. So we're just kind of going through and cleaning this up a little bit. Clipping off the uh, dead leaves, dead runners. Just kind of revitalizing it a little bit. Moving all of the dead things that could potentially cause problems down the road. And look, this one's got a nice little runner coming off of it here. Maybe once we get that in the greenhouse, we may be able to get that to produce some roots for us. Okay. All right, so that one looks pretty good. Put that one off. All right. We've got that one. We'll set that one aside. Let's bring over this one. And here you can see we've got a lot of leaves that have kind of died back here. We're just going to go in and kind of clean this stuff up. And here is an example of one of the strawberries that's kind of dried here in the sun. So I don't know if you can see those seeds, but we're gonna put that in our little Ziploc here. Another, another one over here, it's got some seeds on it. Just giving this a good pruning. And what we will do is probably give it some fertilizer after getting it in the greenhouse and see if we can get it to produce some new growth and maybe some berries here in the fall. Strawberries usually do better the second year, so this this will be its second year, all of these, for all of these. Alright, that, I think I'll take this big leaf out here. Alright, that looks pretty good. I'll kind of set that aside here. Let's see, let's work on this one. Try to get our work table cleared. And 
And again, we just want to get this all of these dead leaves and runners cut off here so that we don't have issues with you know bacteria getting in here causing disease up oh, here's another example of a strawberry that kind of dried up and so we've got seeds we can collect there look here we've got one that's green so we'll leave that, see if we can't get that to finish ripening. See, here's some more that didn't quite make it. And, you know, when I was sick with COVID and initially recovering from my umbilical cord surgery I think you know they just didn't get watered enough and so I think that's kind of what happened here I think we've got this one pruned back pretty well. Let's try to get a few of these dead leaves out of this one. Okay, that looks pretty good. So we'll see if we can get a strawberry off of that one. <clears throat> All right, so here we've got a, a little runner. I'll probably leave that because I want to see if I can get it to produce some roots for me. And maybe I can get it to grow in a solo cup. We've got some strawberries coming here. Here's a flower. And we want to kind of deadhead these that didn't quite make it so that it'll produce more. Okay. Let's see. We'll clear that dead leaf off of there. All right, so we may get a new plant from this one, as well as maybe some strawberries. All right, I think that one looks good too. Got that one revitalized. As you can see, we did lose a couple this this summer, um, again due to extreme heat and not enough water and fertilizer. Look here, here's another blossom coming. 
So we're going to have some strawberries here this fall. But we need to revitalize it. All right, that looks that looks pretty good. Trim off a couple of those leaves. All right, let's see. We got three more. Oh wow! All right. more here with some seeds on them. Alright, let's see. Fall is a good time to do this kind of maintenance. You know, things are starting to go dormant. Things are slowing down. So these plants really kind of appreciate this kind of tender loving care. So, all right, I think I'm pretty pleased with that. That looks pretty good. Okay. Another good one there. Two more to go. And I fell behind. I, I let these runners go over the summer because I was hoping to Try to get them to grow roots for me, which is not hard. I mean, they grow pretty easily, but to get them growing in pots to multiply, and just didn't get around to it, so just got a little too busy. So we're gonna hope for a better winter and spring here and get ready. I'm gonna take that leaf out. Again, we're trying to revitalize it. 
we got new leaves coming down here at the uh, crown that's what you call it that they call it the crown which is the the area of the plant just above the roots where the leaves come out and your runners grow and see like this is a runner here I'm not gonna bother with trying to get that to grow for me all right we'll take a look here looks like there's a couple leaves here it could be taken out If they look tired, like this one looks tired, take that out. Take that one out. Okay, it's looking much healthier. <clears throat> we'll work on this side. And that one looks done. Alright, we've got a little strawberry coming on right there. I'll leave that leaf. All right, so this looks much more healthy. And a couple little things there. And again, it's kind of like, uh, you know, getting your hair cut. It stimulates new growth when you prune plants back so that's kind of what we're doing here now this runner I'm going to bring this around so there's definitely it looks like this is a, a viable runner so I'm going to clip off the stuff that is kind of holding it back from rooting there's some dead leaves here again we're trying to Promote growth. So hopefully, get, leave that, get that in the greenhouse, and we'll set that on a solo cup with some soil, and hopefully we'll be able to produce a new plant there. All right, one more to go. Look at all these dried up. Strawberries. I think that's that's probably good all right so let's start by working on this side kind of pull back the young leaves get rid of these old leaves This one's got a runner on it, so let me save this runner. Again, we're trying to multiply our plants here. So let me go ahead and take care of this runner and get off what I can here. Dead leaves. Eh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if this does anything. This 
is actually a double in this pot. We got two crowns. We got this plant right here and then this one here. So we're gonna Alright, we're going to wrap up this episode here with the strawberry re rejuvenation project, as I'm calling it. Uh, getting these Ozark Beauties, which are an ever-bearing strawberry, get these back kind of looking good, getting them ready, and hoping maybe we'll get some strawberries here this fall before winter sets in. And as you can see, um, what I'm doing with this particular runner. I don't want to disturb it too much, but I've got a solo cup here with some soil and I've got it stuck in there. So hopefully we'll be able to get that to root for us and we'll have a whole nother plant to put in uh, one of the containers that we lost a plant in. So we'll be able to get that regained. And then we've got the runners down here. Hope, hopefully I'll get some uh, containers here and get these rooted as well. But uh, yeah, we're quickly filling this back up. It feels like winter again with this being full of plants. So until the next time, please be safe out there. If you're not already a follower, you know what to do. Click that subscribe button. Doesn't cost you a thing to be a follower of Hall Family Farms. We're always bringing you new and hopefully interesting content. Uh, we started this farm from scratch, built the greenhouse almost a year ago and really just started really with nothing but a a blank slate here so uh we're excited we've got lots of ideas going around in my mind here about things that i want to get done so if you like what we're doing give us a thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions or if you want something to say something positive about what we're doing to encourage us we we would love that feedback so until the next episode, please take care of yourselves out there, and we will see you then. Bye-bye.